and welcome to Current Affairs on JTV, the global Jewish channel. Today I'm joined by Sarit Mikhaili, who's the spokesperson for the Israeli human rights organization, Bet Selim. Sarit, thank you very much for uh, joining us today. Uh, perhaps you'd like to start by perhaps explaining what it is that Bet Selim is hoping to achieve in the context of Israeli-Palestinian relations. Well, B'Tselem is an Israeli human rights group that uh, focuses on uh, the occupation and the violation of the rights uh, under occupation. Uh, we were founded in the height of the First Intifada, we're talking about uh, quite a long time ago, uh, in uh, 1989. Um, and at the time, I think the, the original founding group, uh, which included uh, lawyers, jurists, human rights activists, and some uh, political uh, people as well, uh, uh, reached the conclusion that there was a lack of information, um, accurate, verified information uh, on a whole range of issues related to, uh, you know, the conflict between Israel yes. and the Palestinians, human rights abuses, etc. Okay, it, so uh, that was the founded... original goal was informational and to, to bring to light human rights abuses. What's the goal today? So um, I think over the years, um, the situation has uh, changed on the ground. And I think our understanding as well of information and of, of our role uh, in, the, in the broader picture has also evolved. If in the past uh, it, was, uh, it seemed like information is enough in order to spur Israelis on to action, in order to get them to oppose uh, the Israeli occupation, which we view as uh, the core problem in terms of human rights violations uh, uh, of Palestinians living under it. Uh, now, of course, we're much more uh, nuanced, I think, in our understanding. And we know that this isn't simply going to change purely by providing this information. But information and research is still the core, the basic uh, building block of our work. Okay. On top of that, of course, we do a lot of advocacy with Israel, with the international community, with the Israeli public, uh, uh, talking about the reality on the ground and talking about what it means. Uh, you know, we're actually only just a week following uh, the 49th uh, anniversary of the occupation, actually half a century, entering the 50th year yes. uh, of the occupation. And okay. one of the key things for us is trying to explain the reality on the ground for Palestinians right. living in occupation to, to I, I all get, of this. I get that you want to explain what's happening on the ground. Where do you want that to go to? What's your end point in this? I mean, for us, I think the the key issue is that the Israeli occupation needs to end. Betelem so is that a two-state uh, solution or a one-state solution? Betelem doesn't provide a blueprint as to how to end the conflict. It's far beyond the remit of our mandate. Our mandate is to look at the current situation. So you uh, have no solutions as such. It's up to Israelis and Palestinians to reach right. a decision on how to uh, end the conflict uh, between them and how to resolve it, um, you know, in whatever okay. way that, uh, of course, Adheres both to what the two sides agree but, you on, have, but also, you, of course, you, to, to benchmarks, to human rights benchmarks. I understand that. You, you speak about human rights benchmarks. Of course, it's important that those are kept to. What about benchmarks on the Palestinian side? Um, it doesn't appear that you have any interest in Palestinian human rights. And we know we've had many reports from Palestinian human rights activists about what happens under the Palestinian Authority, torture, murder, things like that. Where, where's your comment on that? Well, absolutely. So uh, our website, of course, includes critique, um, not, not just like theoretical critiques, but also information and data on uh, the most egregious human rights violations under the Palestinian Palestinian Authority, but also under the Hamas regime in Gaza. Uh, we certainly uh, view human rights uh, as a universal issue. And of course, it would be completely uh, absurd not to relate to these kinds of violations. What we uh, try to also do is, re is work out what we would be effective in doing. So when it comes to uh, the recent, for example, execution in Gaza by Hamas to torture and various forms of uh, denial of freedom of speech by the PA, of course, we've made very clear statements about this. We've also made statements, uh, and, and we denounce in very categorical terms, uh, Palestinian attacks against Israeli civilians. So not just violation okay. of the rights um, by, uh, of, uh, pal of Palestinians by other Palestinians, but also the violation of the rights of Israelis by Palestinians. I, However, I, yes. as an Israeli organization, the bulk of our research and our work and our effort goes at self-criticism. So looking at our own government, at our own yep. army, Let's look at one issue. Is Hamas a terrorist organization? 
Hamas engages in clear terrorist acts when it uh, bombs Israeli civilians. We've denounced uh, these uh, actions clearly. I mean, if you're referring to the attempt by uh, a former Israeli member of Knesset to basically smear uh, B'Tselem's director in order to uh, place us in a position, uh, present uh, a false image as if uh, B'Tselem uh, is somehow in any way in support of attacks well, against but civilians. Didn't, your, simply but your director incorrect. didn't. But he didn't and it is simply call a Hamas political, a terrorist organization. Are you prepared to call a terrorist organization? The, the work that we do. Are you prepared to call Hamas a terrorist organization? That's what I'm asking. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear. Can you Are you that? prepared to call Hamas a terrorist organization? As I said, we uh, denounce the terrorist acts uh, perpetrated by Hamas's military wing. We stated that again and again. And again, what you're referring to is a clear attempt by Israeli politicians to try and present us as if we are terrorists. Well, it's sympathize. a very simple question, and you're, not, and you're not answering it. So, and I answered it. Well, you said a military I wing, so it seems to me to suggest when Hamas, that you believe when that Hamas, Hamas attacks Israeli, is not a terrorist organization. When Israeli civilians, when it bombs Israeli civilians, Civilians. We uh, we denounce these acts clearly. Um, it's uh, so it's a terrorist. It's, it's a terrorist organization. Violent. Part of I the time. I answered your question. Part of the I time. I answered your terrorist question. Terrorist trying, you're trying to basically present um, our um, you know attitude and approach to this issue based on the framing okay. uh, you know presented by an Israeli extremist right wing um, um, member of Knesset when he was uh, a radio reporter. This okay. is this is the back. I'm afraid that's all we've got time about. for. I think this Thank notion you for point. of somehow like uh, smearing us as like terror sympathizers is just simply right. unacceptable. But Thank Salem you. has a very, Thank very you. clear record. Thank you very much for making your point. Uh, this Sorry, kind of Mary, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for at this moment in time. Thank you for joining us. And thank you all for also joining us at home for this edition of Current Affairs on JTV. Thank you.